Hey there, uh, YouTube. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Grey Knight, uh, Grey Knight Warriors and Power Armor. Um, this is a very nice kit. It's from Games Workshop and retails anywhere from $30 to $35. Uh, as you can see, the front of the box is very nice. comes with five guys. Um, here's the back. Pretty much the new style of GW cases. Uh, boxes, so this is empty right now, but um, let me go ahead, yeah, that's how I was keeping it up, and show you what's inside. Here are just some guys I've been putting together. I've got another one here that we can open up and see what's inside, so let me move these guys out of the way and cut this bad boy open. So yeah, now it's open, and um, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Oop, guess there's a, everything out of there. So we've got two sprues that have all the pieces. A new thing I haven't seen, I'm not sure if they're doing this for all, but um, bagged bases, which is real nice. Um, you don't lose any that way. So you get five of those. The directions are relatively simple. Uh, you can build two or three different types of squads. You have your Inceptor Squad, your Strike Squad, and your pur Purifier Squad, and they're just different variants according to what your weapons are and things of that sort. So let's get into the actual models themselves. So we'll start with this work our way. Uh, yeah, this is what you have to look at. We've got um, the classic Grey Knight, like, I'm trying to think of what these are called. Like a hall beard or something like that. Just a staff with a sword on the end. Um, a storm bolter. Something new they've done with the storm bolters. I'm not sure they always did this, uh, but the little clips are on the side of the arm now. As you can see with. I guess you can't see with that guy, but. These guys up there have it on the side, which is interesting. I'm not sure if I like it, um, but yeah. So we've got some more arms, and then we have the heavy weapons. We've got uh, two, I believe these are, they're not the side cannons. I'm not sure what they are. Two of those weapons. Um, we move up, we've got another storm bolter. We've got a cool sword, and it's sticking into what I can, I think it's a head of something right there, which is cool. And at the very top, we've got a purity seal and some more clips for our uh, storm bolters. These new backpacks were, are really cool. They almost remind me of um, like Asian uh, sort of things. There's things sticking out. They look they look very cool. Uh, that's all I have to say. There's a couple different types. The legs are real nice. You could do awesome conversions with these guys if you're willing to spend thirty bucks a guy. But great legs. Um, this, I believe, is the side cannon. Um, got the arm for that and another backpack. Then we have another backpack, two more sets of legs that are different, and another backpack. Over here, we get to, uh, there's a shoulder pad, um, which I'll show you the reverse side. Another one of those staffs, a storm bolter, and another puri seal. Then we have our flamer, um, our incinerator, or something like that the hands for that. This piece, which I really like, is a uh, demon net head, or some sort of demon head, being held by Grey Knight. And I love these new hands. There's like pointing ones, there's closed fists, there's open ones, and you get a lot of them, so you could do awesome conversions with those. We have a large purity seal here. Uh, we have a power sword and a storm bolter there. Storm bolter, Another halberd or halbeard or just call them staffs. Uh, the other arm and a shoulder pad. So here's what the shoulder pads look like. You probably can't see. There's like a book and some uh, writing on them. They're really cool. Uh, definitely great conversion kit. Then we get to the second one. Um, let's, let's just work our way from this side. We've got a um, 
guess you'd call that a, another actual staff. I'm not sure who that goes to, but it's definitely cool. It's got like a skull at the very top. Um, a couple purity seals, and then a smaller, I want to say it's like a... I'm not really sure what's inside of it, but it's uh, got a little purity seal on the outside. Uh, chest piece, which I'll show you those in a second. Two heads, which are real nice. And then get two heads without the helmets on right there. And they've sort of got, I think those, I don't think that's hair. No, that's um, like piping or something coming from their heads. Two more shoulder pads. Then up here we have a storm bolter, a power sword, that hand, some more purity seals and add-ons. Then we have a, another power sword, a thunder hammer, which I don't think it is. It's called something different, but I'm not exactly sure. A hammer, uh, another storm bolter, purity seal, and the other hand. Then we get to the backpacks, which I'll show you all the detail on the other side in a second. These legs, which are pretty cool, they've got uh, some work on them, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we have like another shield seal or something like that. I'm not really sure what that's for. Three heads, just some add-ons. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then we have another backpack, and then probably my favorite legs in the whole thing with a little cloth hanging down, kind of like it's blowing in the wind, which is real cool. Some more backpacks, which uh, feature them without the little knobs coming off, just regular backpacks. Uh, purity seal, and the rest of the shoulder pads are on this side. Two regular swords. Oh, uh, not I'm not sure if they're power swords, but they're not as big as the other ones. Um, the rest of the chest pieces, more swords, uh, a couple little things, like a bolt, or a extra clip case, some grenades, stuff like that, another sword. So here's what the chest pieces and back pieces look like. Uh, they go up to the, like the chin, I would assume, on the head. And they're, they're relatively similar, but they're, they're different. They have little, little changes that aren't noticeable from the eye, but as you get closer, uh, even the words on them are different, which is kind of cool. I think you get... I think all of them are different, so you get five different ones. Uh, then you have these ones that have a skull. I'm not sure. Is that... It's like a purity seal that's blown over. I'm not really sure what's on this one. Um, and then here are the shoulder pads, which are real nice. Purity seals and things hanging down. There's the other side of the heads. And then the backs of the torso have this little thing that goes up above their head, which is really cool could do some cool conversions with that. This kit would be or this kit would be uh, great for like making an inquisitor army that kind of stuff because you have these pieces that you're not going to see anywhere else but the uh, gray knights inquisitors demon hunter army which is real nice. Uh, we got another torso. Uh, the backs of the torsos are I think they're all the same. I don't really see any difference. And then the last 3 uh, Backpacks over here, your purity seals, all that kind of stuff. Here's the back of the hammer. You can't really see it very well. And then we have the back of this backpack there. Um, and that's about it. I'll show you a guy I'm putting together with the first kit. He's got one of those backpacks with the little things going off of it. You got the head. You can't really see it too well, but really doesn't make it much better. I'm going to get a new camera here for you guys, but just to give you the gist of it,